What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the Temporary Mesh and Bioreactor series. This time we are working with Liptorella uniflora, an aquatic plant, and I need to start picking plants with easier names. This is going to be the fifth Temporary Mesh and Bioreactor out of 10 we have. I can't believe it has been 10 weeks since we did the first one. Each plant is going to stay in the Temporary Mesh and Bioreactor for 20 weeks. At the end of the 20 weeks, we will compare if they grow faster than traditional tissue culture. For the traditional tissue culture, we are also experimenting with different culture flasks. Baby food jars, 250 ml plant cell technology painted flasks, magenta boxes, and daily containers. We want to see if the material, size, or vented versus no vented make a difference. In addition, we are also making a second replication using the same flask but with a different gelling agent, agar versus gelling gum. Agar is the most common gelling agent in tissue culture, and gelling gum is not as commonly used but is softer and more transparent than agar. The goal for this experiment is the same, we are just trying to see which gelling agent can grow plants faster. In my experience, Ega should do better with plants that are more commonly susceptible to vitrification. And Gelangon might do better in water-loving plants like aquatic or carnivorous plants. That's why I use Gelangon for my personal tissue corto plants, but that just my personal preference and I also like that the media looks completely transparent. The media I'm using for Litorella uniflora is half MS media with 25 grams of sucrose, 1 ml polyro of BA, 0.1 ml polyro of NAA, 1 ml polyro of PPM, and 8 grams of agar for one set of flask, and 3 grams of gel and gum for the other set. Here is the plant in the temporary mesh and bioreactor. Only one plant, but I know this plant propagates very quickly. See, this is what I meant about gel and gum on the left being completely transparent compared to the agar on the right. It is not just more visually pleasing, but it also helps in detecting contamination at that earlier stage. I tried to use similar size plants for a fair comparison, however for this plant I don't think it's going to matter. I think the plants are going to entirely fill the flask in the next 20 weeks, and the bigger the flask, the more plants they are going to have. Here are the rest of the plants, Bacopa, Duosela capillaris, Dalintonia californica, S. rapens, and Litorella uniflora. In general, the plants in the temporary mesh and bioreactors seem to be growing faster than the ones in traditional tissue culture. However, it will be 10 more weeks until we have the final results from the first plant, the Bacopa. Until then, please subscribe and check the other videos on the channel. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying these tissue culture videos, be sure to follow us on social media for more informative content. And if you're interested in conducting your own tissue culture experiments, make sure to check us out at plantcelltechnology.com for all the products you need to get started. Use the code FP10 for 10% off your first purchase.